All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of The Urban Gardener. I want to thank you all so much for joining with me here today. And if you haven't already, please get down there, hit that subscribe button, follow along with more garden adventures as we continue growing here on The Urban Gardener. In fact, hit that bell notification to be notified of upcoming episodes. Today, today is potato planting day. We're going to be planting out different varieties of potatoes today in our containers that we've got grown around our alleyway gardens. Now, potatoes are something that we grow every single year here in our containers. I've been trying to perfect my method of growing potatoes, but I don't know if that's necessarily always going the way I want it to. But we have had a couple of really good uh, potato harvests for the effort that we put into growing these containers. Now, um, one of the things too is we probably could have gotten these in just a little bit earlier than uh, what we're doing right now, but I'm pretty sure we should get some pretty good potatoes out of our different varieties. So not only are we gonna be growing the regular potatoes, but we're also gonna be growing some sweet potatoes as well. I tried sweet potatoes last season and was just really surprised about how easy they are as well to grow too. Now we just plucked a couple of different slips into just regular old uh, dirt that I had in a container in the back alleyway and they just grew all over the place and gave us some really good sized uh, sweet potatoes. For what I thought growing in a container I was really surprised at the size of potatoes that we got. So I've got a couple of different varieties of sweet potatoes that we've been growing out into slips over the last few weeks and we're going to be planting those out into uh, the containers in the back alleyway as well. So let's get growing. So over the last couple of weeks we've been uh, rooting out our sweet potato slips. Picked up a couple of sweet potatoes from my local organic section of my grocery stores produce section and um, picked out a couple of uh, sweet potatoes this is two different stores two different potatoes as well as just about a couple of weeks ago I found a purple sweet potato variety as well so we got three all together I've been rooting them out in these glasses here after I'll show you over here too after I took the sweet potatoes and just planted them in this container and buried them about halfway. That is two sweet potatoes there. There's a second one in there. And uh, I've just been letting it kind of grow out as a plant after I took the initial slips from it and uh, it's already trying to go pretty wild here in the house. <laughs> And uh, here's the purple variety. And I just wanted to show you here too, is if you pull off a slip off of the uh, sweet potato and you end up getting roots that pull out, what I just did is I put it right into soil. So these have been in there probably about a week and the plants are looking nice and strong and growing more leaves so I believe we're about ready to plant these all out in our gardens. So back behind the house here, behind the carports in my neighbor's area they let me use to grow. As you can see over there we've got the pear and peach tree which we featured in a video couple weeks back our container fruit tree episode I'll put a link down below we've got this back fence line here As you can see these containers will eventually be our tomatoes which will go along this back fence line and then here in this setup we've got our five gallon water wicking buckets if you saw last week's episode where we transplanted our peppers this is where a lot of them will end up here in just a couple of weeks. And real quick too, just kind of a real quick impromptu update. But uh, that there is our grapevine 
you know, we planted out in that uh, container fruit tree episode, and uh, I think it's almost time for me to give in. That might be one of our first real garden fails this year. But uh, I might try to look and see if I can't find in a local nursery another grapevine and get it planted out. But we've got these uh, container totes here. And uh, last year we grew in this container, the green one, our sweet potatoes from last season. So this year we're going to be growing our first two varieties of sweet potatoes in this larger green container. And then we're going to plant out our purple sweet potatoes in this red container. And as you can see, those roots are looking really nice there. Real swift, simple transplant that we're going to do here. And then we'll get on to planting out our other container potatoes. go we got our different varieties of sweet potatoes all planted into our containers it's just that easy before long all these vines will be <laughs> stretching and reaching all over the place back here So all right, now it's time to move on to our container potatoes. Now I've grown in all sorts of different containers, even five gallon buckets. And those usually do pretty good. You just give a small uh, seed potato, just some soil and some little bit of space and it will find a way to grow and possibly produce potatoes. Now, what we primarily use here in our gardens are these uh, large storage containers just like the ones that you saw us use that we put our sweet potatoes in. Now uh, these uh, storage containers you can get at any of your big box stores and they usually come with a lid and uh, I don't necessarily use the lid myself here but if you're growing on a surface like cement or say a deck or something like that you could use this lid as a tray catch some of the runoff from your draining container potatoes. But I'm not going to need this lid here for our container potatoes, but we'll, what we are going to need to do though, is this is a new container, and I had to get this new container too. I'll put a link up to a vlog I did on my other channel where uh, I had an incident last season with one of my neighbors trying to pull out of the alleyway and uh, the space that we use our container potatoes in. Check that video out if you wanted to see what happened to our containers last season. But uh, this is an all new container and what we're going to need to do is we want really good drainage for our container potatoes. So we're going to need to put some holes all the way around the bottom 
and I also like to put holes right along the bottom edge there as well. So I'm going to put some holes in here, get this all ready for uh, putting in some soil so that we can plant out our container potatoes. So all right, before we finish, I got one more thing I want to do to go along with our container potatoes. I've got these two and a half gallon container buckets and I put an iCard up above right now for you so you can see how I got these for free. And we're gonna use these as uh, potting containers and uh, all we gotta do now is we're gonna have to drill some holes right down on the bottom. So let's get that done real quick. So there we go. Got some holes on the bottom of them now. All we got to do is fill them up with some soil and then I'll show you what we're going to do with them. So what I've got here are a couple of pole beans that I seeded out here recently and they've popped up real quick here so it's time to get them out in the garden somewhere. So uh, I think these are Kentucky pole beans and I thought that'd be perfect to go up our trellis here right up above our potatoes in this area here. So that's what we're going to use these containers for right in between those potatoes. So let's plant out these pole beans and this space will be all ready to grow. go all 
finished with that project there got our container potatoes all planted into our storage containers we also did use some of those Kennebex and put them in a five gallon bucket there as well as our pole beans Kentucky Wonders that will grow right up the trellis there and be sure to stay tuned check the progress of our container potatoes so all right now that our container potatoes are all tucked away there into their alleyway space what we'll be doing over the next few weeks is keeping an eye out for the growth of our potatoes they should pop right up out of there really soon and then when they grow up probably around the ridge of the uh, container when they get up above that is about when I'm going to add some more soil and compost to the container now in the field they call this hilling of the potatoes if you see a lot of other videos you'll see people they'll bury and bury and bury their potatoes with the idea that the potato is going to continue to grow up that plant stock but that's not really the case that's not really what happens with your potatoes so with our container potatoes we'll be looking for that growth about six inches or so and then we're going to add a few more inches of that uh, compost and soil to the container to kind of add some more nutrients of course to the plant and reinforce the plant itself but also to protect those tubers down below as our soil starts to settle throughout the growing season here and those tubers are forming they can kind of work their way up to the top of the soil and that's something you really don't want so healing your potatoes is really going to protect that from happening because when your potatoes uh, reveal their skins to the sun the sun is going to turn those potatoes green and that green coloring is actually a toxin called solanine and solanine this is not really good for you. It's going to really make that stomach upset if you're eating too many of those green potatoes. So you don't want to be doing that. And also, I wanted to show you here. Uh, we've got this uh, pot that I potted out some of our red lettuce that I had left over from starts that I used for a video I made recently on a uh, patio uh, garden setup with a garden bag. But um, once this uh, lettuce got started growing, I'll pop this other plant and that there is a potato and this is from probably a small little potato that was left over in the soil from last season's container potatoes that I didn't see and made its way into this container but uh, now it's grown up out of there and what we'll have to do is keep an eye out for later in the season as well as our other container potatoes but to see how well this one does here in this container it's pretty small so I'm not sure that we'll get pretty much of anything else, but we'll grow it out and see what happens. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed this video here today. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up, hit that like button. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything at all, get down in that comment section below. I'd love to hear from all of you. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Follow along with more of our garden adventures as we keep growing on here in the Urban Gardener. I'll see you all on the very next episode. This is just killing me right now. Killing me. Killing me. There's a lot of different containers you could use. I'm not going to be using the uh, loot. Loot. <laughs> In our um, potatoes. Now that we've got our container. <laughs> Hopefully the wind isn't blowing too bad with this microphone. I don't have that wind muffler on it too. I don't want to